Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 124. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. But yeah, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Read my last message. What was your last message? Six-year-old mech and 55-year-old Zeno on Discord talking about getting the platinum for Need for Speed 2015. <laughs> Yeah, this song is in Horizon 3. <laughs> At least Wolfie noticed it. Let's go. I was like, some... It, I said a minute ago, if somebody recognizes this song, you're a fucking legend. So, Wolfie, you're a fucking legend. <laughs> this is a very, very good song, though. You can't hear the song. It cannot be that quiet. I'll turn it up a tad, just for you. <laughs> You're looking at a lot of fucking time. Snitch. 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 To be fair, this is quite quiet at the moment. I decided to put a little bit more rap in this because it sort of goes with the, um, crap. It goes with the Need for Speed Heat and the Need for Speed, basically the Need for Speed vibe. And obviously this is like a stream playlist, sort of like inspired by racing games. So I added some rap songs I quite like. No, same server. Same server. I, I think I've had that server since um, my YouTube channel was a thing. Even before that. Late 2017, I think I've had that server. Like, that exact server, but... Yeah, but there's obviously, like, different channels now. There's a lot less channels, but, yeah. It is still the same server. A lot of the ones that people just didn't use, got rid of. <laughs> That's pretty. That was my very terrible impression of that. Yeah, Zeno's just muted ears. He's just pressed the mute ears button. Snitch, snitch, snitch. I got Discord deafened by IRL. <laughs> by Mac. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, you've been deafened IRL, the motherfucker. Motherfucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Stop now! Spurs, made it just for you. <laughs> I think this is another one off uh, Horizon 3. I'm pretty sure it was. I found it on recommended on Tidal. So. We're in 2077, the time when we can install a set of dongle microphones as eardrums. I I'll be totally honest. I think I'd appreciate that more because you could probably make microphones that are more accurate than human hearing. 
I think that'd be a great idea. I want to stick microphones as my ears. I'll be right there for you. Yeah, work does that with a lot of people, to be honest. There are a lot of people that I know from, like, when I was, what, secondary school and shit like that. Absolute cunts. There's no way, other way of describing how they were. They were just cunts. And since them sort of getting older, becoming an adult, they actually become fairly decent people. And I like to remind them, they were a cunt, but they're not anymore, because it's funny. I was a bit of a cunt sometimes as well, but... <laughs> yeah. Lurking, but you're not lurking. Very nice, Zeno. You've played a prank on the bot. I <laughs> get pranked. It's scammer get scammed. <laughs> yeah, exclamation mark, fuck. <laughs> Pucker up, buttercup. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. I'll make that command and just have the bot reply with, please don't fuck me. <laughs> we don't want wild AI roaming in physical world. Oh, God. Oh, God. You realize, Zeno, what hands type there was the name Al? <laughs> It's not a robot, it's just a bloke named Al. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, it makes me chuckle. <laughs> Big Al. I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> that was kind of the point. <laughs> Big up Al getting the Xeno dick. <laughs> For fuck's sake. People on YouTube are going to be like, what in the fuck are they chatting about? By the way, chat, just in case you were wondering on Twitch what episode this is going to be for YouTube. This is episode 124 we're recording right now. I think. Yes. It's episode 124 re we're recording right now. Which is just mind-blowing. The fact that we've got through... 124 videos. Each one of them has been at least half an hour. So I've got over 60 hours... Of Forza Motorsport 3 content on YouTube right now. I know, it's a grind and a half. But, this is a fucking huge game at the same time. Woo! Ribena. Has anyone ever tried putting alcohol in Ribena and seeing what it tasted like? I actually might put some alcohol and some Ribena and see what it tastes like. I don't know why, I just think it would be interesting. <laughs> Alcoholic Ribena. I mean, come on. 
Ribena is a kid's drink, or it's always been like, it's not a kid's drink, but, you know, everyone always drunk it as a kid, and then as soon as you get to an adult, you very rarely drink it. I've just been, like, drinking it and, like, oh, vodka and Ribena. I don't have vodka, so it would have to be whiskey and Ribena. <laughs> drinking whiskey and Ribena. <laughs> I can imagine if that's how the song goes. Drinking whiskey and Ribena. This'll be the day that I die. <laughs> I mean, it's literally the only thing I got, so I'd have to do it. Bonk. Drinking whiskey in my beamer. <laughs> Zim Zima. Ah, oh, alcoholic fruit shoes. I don't know why, but adding alcohol to kids' drinks just seems like a really fun way of drinking alcohol. You're like, oh yeah, you've got beers, you've got ciders. That seems like a really boring drink. Like, sticking alcohol in a fruit shoot just seems really exciting. I, um, I feel sick every time I think about Jägermeister for the sole reason that at the start of this year, I've told this story so many times on Twitch, but I need to tell it again anyways. Basically, start of this year, um, it was a workmate's birthday party. They hired an Airbnb. We were going to go and party there. Only three people turned up, me, her, and one of her friends. So, there was literally three of us there. Ended up drinking, and it was literally just Jägermeister and orange juice. And we were playing this, like, card game. Like, this drinking card game. If you lost, you had to drink it, and it was, like, a bad tasting drink. I was obviously shit-faced, because I'm a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. So, I then make bad decisions, and I'm like, oh, look, there's more here. There's more here. There's more. Look. Ooh. Keep drinking it. Fucking drunk so much of this shit that I was stumbling up the stairs. Got to my bed in this Airbnb, and these are like, these are what I call fish finger beds. They're like narrower than a single bed. Um, and they have like two of them there. I call them fish finger beds because they're very narrow. Um, tried to jump into the bed, just went. <laughs> that really hurt my hand. <laughs> tried to jump into the bed, went splat right in the middle, right? And, um, that force basically just made me throw up everywhere. And it was horrible. Uh, had the worst hangover ever, and every time I think of Jägermeister... I remember that one terrible time, the worst drinking I've ever done. Yeah. How have you not heard this story, Zeno? That's what I want to know. How have you not heard it? <laughs> I want a Rari, I'm feeling godly. I love this song. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, oh, oh. It's one of those nights where you don't know how you got home, but you did. See, I... For me, that night... It wasn't that I don't remember all of it. Because I remember the night approximately, but I remember little bits. And it's really patchy. Like, I... I remember a couple of significant things. I remember getting out of the car, going up the stairs, getting lost to the room because we couldn't figure out where the room was. Who got the keys to my motherfucking beamer bitch? I used to dream of this, I ain't that. You could. Yeah. 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 I love this song. Um, 
Xeno tipped Mex virginity off the cliff. Fuck you. <laughs> um. Yeah, so. I remember going up the stairs, getting to the room. I remember sitting down, we're listening to some music. I remember playing some shitty drum and bass. I remember us. Um. I remember me down in those, like, Jaeger bombs, whatever the fuck they were. Jaeger drinks. Vomit makers. That's pretty much what it was. Stumbling up the stairs, going splat, and then I don't remember anything after that. I don't even remember the morning properly. All I remember is I'm in a car, driving down a road. I'm not driving, someone else is driving. Uh, and then I'm at the end of my street and I'm stumbling up the stairs into my bed. And again, I don't remember very much. And if that sounded patchy to you, imagine if it feels to me, the person who actually experienced that. And that's basically my recollection of events. I have no clue what happened. I probably don't want to know what happened. Because for some reason the vomit disappeared in the morning. Somehow. Must have. So I don't want to know who cleaned that up. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Somebody cleaned it up. <laughs> oh. You have magic. My vomit just disappeared. God. It was me. <laughs> Magic Xeno. Ugh. Uh, <coughs> no. Ugh. Don't even. Ugh. Now that makes me sick. <coughs> zoom, zoom up. Who got the keys to my motherfucking be my bitch? Ugh. Ugh, chat, you're making me feel sick. <laughs> Them lines are perfect. Hit those apexes. Let's go. Do you know the one thing I wish that Forza sort of had is like brake indicators. Um, sort of like how Gran Turismo 7 does it where it's got the line that goes across the track and it says brake. Something like that. Where it tells you the point you need to brake but it doesn't tell you the line. Oh, do you know what? Um, we ordered... So, last night... Sitsu, what is up? How are you today? Um, how are you today, my brother? My brother! <laughs> um, this is one of Han's songs. Um, yeah, so yesterday, after stream, I basically edited videos for about three or so hours. Uh, and then as I was started rendering them, started rendering them, went downstairs to order McDonald's. Right, we ordered McDonald's, so we had food for four people. Um, and we basically ordered it off Deliveroo. My order was, so, I know people are going to hate this, I don't give a fuck what you think, I like it. So, I got a chili crisp wrap, because it was the wrap of the day thing, and I just fancied a wrap, and I wanted some chips, so I got a meal. Um, again, I'm fat bastard, so shut the fuck up. Had that, ordered. Ordered two chicken mayos. Add pickles. 
because I fucking love McDonald's pickles and I will have them on anything that it gives me the option to put pickles on. I fucking love McDonald's pickles. I hate pickles anywhere else, but McDonald's and Domino's are the two places that I've found that their pickles are just fucking amazing. Hey, no worries, Owen. See you tomorrow. Um, my next stream is on Wednesday, so I don't stream every day now. So I'll be streaming more Forza Motorsport on Wednesday. So hopefully we can see you then. But I'll be in the Discord as well. Uh, yeah, so I ordered a chicken mayo. Two chicken mayos with pickles. And... Yeah, that was, that was basically... Oh, and an apple pie. Because I basically hyped myself up for an apple pie. Because we were talking about dipping apple pies in milkshakes and shit like that. Delivery comes. And what do you know? A typical McDonald's fuck up. The order's not correct. I, th I think it's McDonald's job to make mistakes on the orders, to be perfectly honest. I've worked there. But the amount of mistakes that just happen out of McDonald's is unreal. Um, my wrap wasn't there. So they had sent everything else for my wrap meal. Except the wrap itself. So we got the money back for that. My two chicken mayos didn't have my fucking pickles in it. I literally ordered the chicken mayos because I was craving fucking pickles. And they didn't put the pickles in. So my chicken mayos were just normal chicken mayos. Kind of disappointed. Yeah, they do. They really do. But what's really weird is deliveries are supposed to be their safety point. Because of the fact that a delivery, once it goes out, it's very difficult to fix. Um, normally, they just get crew members to do everything else. Because if there's a mistake, they can fix it there and then. Because people are there at the store. Deliveries are supposed to be done by McDonald's managers. So a manager either hasn't looked at this order before it goes out, in which case, manager's fault, or the manager has looked at it, said, yeah, that's fine, but not checked it properly. Again, manager's fault. So the only person you can actually blame, you can't blame anyone working at that McDonald's other than the manager. It is all down to the manager because that's how McDonald's do deliveries. Um... And yeah, basically, my entire meal yesterday, Mech is secretly a Karen. I'm not even a Karen. I've worked at McDonald's. I know how stressful it can be. But at the same time, it is very difficult to completely fuck up the way that they fucked up. Because of the systems that McDonald's have, like, I don't want to sound like an ass, but I really do think that people that get hired by McDonald's just don't have the common sense required. Like, there's literally a screen that tells you every single item. I made zero mistakes when it came to, like, making orders and stuff like that. Any mistake was down to the customer. Like, they had either ordered the wrong thing or whatnot. That was down to the customer. Sure, as, as a company, we're like, oh, yeah, we're sorry. We put on a happy face. But secretly, it's all down to the customer. The customer fucked up. It's very difficult for McDonald's to mess up. This time was a genuine, like, McDonald's fucked up, though. Like, my burgers had stickers on them that said add pickles, but the burgers inside them, it was like they just took two chicken mayos that had already been there for a while. It was very strange. I think the only time I've ever, ever had a customer at, when I was working at McDonald's complain about me was the fact that he was being an absolute fucking idiot. Um... Basically asked for, um, 
a plain cheeseburger. And I put through the cheeseburger. Um, and he was like, I, I just want a plain cheeseburger. And the cheeseburger came through. And it was like, there's cheese on this. Are you fucking stupid? I don't want cheese. And I was like, you literally asked for a cheeseburger. Plain. A cheese burger. It's in the fucking name, you absolute retard. <laughs> like, <laughs> what you're talking about is a hamburger. They're two different things. So, yeah, this guy was absolutely ripping into me. Yeah. This, this guy was ripping to me into the store. He took my order. He was the one who got it wrong. He fucked up. And I was like... You asked for a plain cheeseburger. Yeah, it's got cheese. And I just looked at my manager. Right, and it, it, honestly, it's the funniest fucking look ever. Because we, we both just had this look of like... What a fucking moron. So he's literally asked us... For this cheeseburger, a burger that has cheese in it. I've had a couple of times though people asking for like, can I have a plain cheeseburger without cheese? So a hamburger. Yeah, a hamburger. Like I've had that a couple of times. The amount of people that ask for cheeseburgers without cheese because they don't know. Pandy! Oh, Pandy. <laughs> uh, Pandy's messing with the shield mode thing. Hang on. <laughs> Let me turn it off. Do, 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 do. How do you turn it off? Oh, it's off now. There you go. Uh, uh, it's fair enough. I'll give you credit for that because it is a brand new feature and I did that when I clicked on it I clicked on it and it was like It turns on straight away. It barely asks you for anything Yeah, no It does it for the chat. It's a very strange thing. I can't even blame you for doing that like I I basically just fucked myself over the first time as well <laughs> but I keep that to my own channel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was definitely a good choice to take the Nissan over the Corvette because this is quicker. This whole Tantrum Desire album is fucking amazing. It's very rare I find an album that every song just fucking slaps and every song is a different style. It's very difficult to find an album like that, but Tantrum Desire did a great job. It's not a donkey in the corners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking ass. Get out my wee. I'm on my way. Pop. Come on, come on. You be arch. Keep it moving. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Alright, we're in the lead. Finally. Sentry insurance. Oh, 
I need to get another bottle of Ribena. From downstairs. Because I'm thirsty. And I've drunk it. Pretty much. Any opportunity to act, to act. So is the Gran Turismo players coming after Forza then? No, it's WRC after Forza. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I'm going to play through Gran Turismo because I think it's too difficult of a game for me. Personally. Um, and I'm really enjoying WRC. So I'd like to play through all of those. The older ones are, for me, personally. Just because I'm not a fan of, like, older racing games handling, typically. Gran Turismo 4 is about... Gran Turismo 3. I would say GT3 is probably the best. Like, the earliest I can play. Before it's just like, this is just a ball ache. Nah. GT5 and 6 is very easy, so I'd have no problem playing through them. And that's what I did. I mean, I finished Gran Turismo 6 on my channel, so... I had no problem with that. It's just the problem is, GT4, there are a couple of races that are just... Like, GT4's alright. Except for a couple of races um, that's on, like, the main progression line. Yeah, GT5 and GT6 was... I think GT6 was easier than GT5, but GT... GT5 and 6 were piss easy. Yeah. I mean, 10-year-old me... Sorry, 8-year-old me. I can't do fucking maths. I would have been 8. 8-year-old me couldn't do it. Because 8-year-old me was too distracted by the arcade mode. And I was like, oh, look, I can drive a Pagani now. And I drove a Pagani Zonda, like, fucking every single race. And just made my own randomly generated tracks. And just fucking had fun. Enjoyed myself. I didn't do Korea at all. So. Other than GT7. GT7 is an absolute fucking ball ache. GT7 is a lot harder than GT5 and 6. Boop. I just find it annoying that the times for GT7, like, the gold times specifically, are, like, you have to be basically spot-on accurate, which, I, I'm a fast driver, but I'm not spot-on accurate, I can't, you know, get that exact line at every single one. At least so story is easier. I'll be 100% honest. Honest, Assetto Courses is easier than GT7. It's still, it's still difficult, but it's easier. Unless you're using a controller, in which case it's a fucking butt lake. But. very curious how you can do that then because I could not do it at all like the S licenses are fucking ridiculous some of the mission races are just fucking stupid and there's no difficulty option so if someone like me who is a lot more casual and just plays racing games for fun is is basically not allowed to get gold. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that was brilliant. I just the thing that pisses me off, like, you look at Forza games. Oh look, there's all these different difficulty options so people can play. And if oh look. You're not as good at this game. 
But here you go, you can still enjoy the game on easy mode, you can enjoy it on medium, you can enjoy it on hard. We got no problem. A very easy thing for Forza to add. It's also an easy thing for Gran Turismo to add. But for some reason the Gran Turismo developers are just too fucking bone idle. And so you end up with this game that's literally only basically accessible to the fastest drivers. Like, obviously, Xeno, you're fucking alien anyways, when it comes to Gran Turismo, so obviously it's going to be easy. But the fact that there's no difficulty options just is utterly baffles me. For a video game that's supposed to be, like, they added microtransactions to try and get more money from more people and try and get more people into the game. You know, the people that maybe don't have the time <laughs> I mean, to be fair, when people are a lot better than other people, certain things they do get a bit blindsided by the fact that other people can be worse. But, like, when it... I think that's one of the problems with, like, development of Gran Turismo, is the fact that they all just expect everyone that plays Gran Turismo to be, like... They're fucking league races and whatnot. Like, by all means, if I was a fucking league racer, I'd have no problem with Gran Turismo. But I'm not. I'm not even a professional sim racer. I play racing games because I enjoy them. I like cars. It's fun. So adding rewards behind what is a physically impossible goal for me to achieve kind of stupid not a fan of it chill DA got that dopey sense to me Hey, hey. You get him right off the bat. Infected with Zaza Corona. Like you took a bite off of that. And it goes from Martian to human. That's how the virus attacks. They come at me with machine guns. Fight off a net. Yeah. DA got that dopey sense to me. Fucking love this song. I think what Gran Turismo is the physics are basic, but they have depth at the same time. Realistically, you can abuse the fucking car like crazy and do wow, but there is still time to be game driving and racing properly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think when it comes to like abusing the car, it's a lot less lenient than games like Forza is. Like, you can abuse the cars. A little bit in Gran Turismo, but nowhere near as much as you could in... Like, Gran Turismo, granted, is a game that's made me a lot more efficient with how I drive cars. I say that as I go off the track. I'm preoccupied. I'm streaming. But, like, when it comes to actually, like, driving in racing games, and especially in sim racing as well, like, Gran Turismo, the way that it teaches you in some of the like driving lesson things it does help yeah I mean circuit experience as well like holy fuck circuit experience just to do that one that they showed you to do um, that they made you do as part of the cafe to do that um, and gold that one. I think it was Dragon Trail Gardens. Took me two hours to gold that. And that apparently is one of the easier ones. Literally, one of the... Oh, uh, fuck's sake. 
I need to rewind that one. It took me two hours to do that because of how... Like... Because it requires you to be on top form for the entire thing. Unless you're a fucking... Gran Turismo sweat. Yeah. I mean, you think... Right... For the Nurburgring one on GT Sport was fine. I had no problem with it. On GT Sport, the Nurburgring lap time was like seven minutes something. Right, and they literally shaved off like 30 seconds off of the time from GT Sport to Gran Turismo 7. Right, and bearing in mind, I just got gold with like five seconds to spare on the Nurburgring one in GT Sport. There was no way I was going to magically gain 25 seconds on Nurburgring without fucking grinding my ass off it. But each lap takes seven minutes to do. Six, seven minutes. And even with me doing it, trying it out on GT7, round the Nurburgring, I was still only two seconds faster than my GT Sport time. After about ten attempts. I still had another fucking... 23 seconds to fucking magically gain. And it's so... I, I know it promotes efficient driving, but for a racing game that... You know, is for... Car fans and stuff like that. To make it only accessible to... And make it only fun for... The best drivers... Isn't... How you make a game. Like, imagine if they made Need for Speed so challenging that only the top 100 were actually allowed to play the game. It almost feels like that. Only the fastest of the fastest are actually allowed to play it. It's a stupid, stupid way. Like, difficulty options as well is such an easy thing to implement into a game. Like, it's so easy. It is literally changing a couple of numbers. Yeah, I, I I know that wouldn't help. Like, I have watched tutorials. Like, Laguna Seca, for example. Trying to complete Laguna Seca circuit experience? Watched YouTube videos for that. Still haven't done it. I've spent six hours on that, and I still haven't done it. I've given up with a game because of that. Because it's just so fucking stupid trying to do these races... For a video game, and you can't do it. Like, it's it's not fair. Like, a video game doesn't... Th the problem as well, right, a difficulty option, who does that affect? Whose gameplay experience does that affect? It only affects the user that's actually playing that game. So by me turning my difficulty down, the leaderboards would still be the same. Your times would still be faster than mine. It just means that I can actually achieve a faster time. I can actually, you know, get gold on my difficulty that's for me. Doesn't affect anyone else. And I can still enjoy the game. It's just such a lazy oversight from the developers. It's so lazy. It's one of the reasons I can't play GT4 either. Because there are a couple of races that are just too difficult for me. That I can't progress through the story. Like, progress through the game fucking stupid so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out